Western in the opening period. It's a 9-4 shots advantage for the Americans. However, they've spent a large portion of this period on the man advantage. Boudreau kicks it up the wall. Jarvis will chase after it. Back to the trapezoid rim the round. Lord Anthony Grissom, a shot towards the cage, and it's tipped. And Michael Robido doesn't just have goal number one this week. He has goal number two of his professional career. Here early. Slip through to center ice, but just before it skips past the blue line, Colton Hargrove was able to grab a piece of it and chuck it back in. Jarvis, far side corner up the half wall, held there by Skilty shot, rebound, and how does that stay out? Rebound again, and that's in the back of the net, delivered by Jack Combs, and he gets his team leading 14th goal of the season in the opening minute of the second. Allen takes a 2-0 lead. Right, just a massive mistake by multiple Oilers, uh, starting with Colton Ellis as he fumbles the puck behind his own net. And that kind of uh, jars Tulsa's flow as far as who's going to be the outlet man getting up and out uh, of their own end. Puck goes up the Crone down the left wing side to the corner, centering feed all the way over to the right circle. Picked up from there. Shot comes back into the half wall. Up top again, now Crone leaves the zone, comes back in, a shot he scores. Allen now one for five on the man advantage and four and a half minutes away from the midway mark of the game, they take a three nothing. By Butcher, Crone, left side, holds over the hashes. Now the point, open space, stolen back. Potential here for Soper, breakaway coming in. Jimmy Soper, a shot he scores. 34 seconds into the third period. It's just what the doctor ordered. Oilers pull themselves within two and cut Parasini's shutout out of existence. I think everybody in the building was screaming on the inside or the outside at getting that puck up the ice as Soper was sitting there ready for that breakaway for about an hour, it seemed. And But you got to get that pass right because if you don't, everything was trying to make sure there wasn't a breakout. Andrew Jarvis a little bit. I think disappointed with himself as he heads off the ice with a stick slam, but he's had a good game. Hargrove down the right wing side. Hilderman sticking with him. Hargrove pulls up, hashes back to where they score. Four on four goal. Hank Crone second of the game. 11 tests. And now a chance the other way. Here comes Gagnon. He scores as well. Second power play goal of the game. And Allen has essentially iced it here 5-1 with well, the 10 36 there left. is uh, unfortunately the plays being made back with the intention of it being safe but it's not safe when a man's coming out of the box awareness of the clock was necessary there and that's why there the goalie claps on the ice yeah there was no awareness was of the clock unfortunately and and uh, it leads i have seen crazier things in the game of hockey but it would be up there pulls it dipsy doodles left circle shot save parasini rebound they score a power play goal, and the Oilers pulled themselves within three with over three minutes remaining in the game. And it's once again belonging to a member of that line. It's Jimmy Soper with his second of the night. And Jimmy Soper came into tonight's game, six of his last eight games, he's put up a point. In fact, he led all Oilers against the Americans this year in points with a goal and two assists. Well,